How do you, you know, for the closeout games, how do you try to get your team to, to close well, them out? You know, the way we get them to close out is the way we close out in New York. And uh, give Washington credit. They made the plays when they needed to. We didn't. There was plenty of opportunities there at D Led. Um, you know, every week's obviously a new adventure. We thought we feel like we're making progress in certain areas. Obviously, it wasn't good enough yesterday. So, you know, the old same old narrative uh, certainly didn't hold up true last week. Uh, but again, we we made it hard on ourselves yesterday. We got to close that game out, and we know why we didn't. But you got to give Washington credit, and we got to improve, and we need to do it in a hurry. In the next to last drive, the penetration was that the, the main issue there in the, on the first two runs. You talking about the one that? Uh, you talk. That's the last offensive drive. Oh, uh, that was kind of hail mary drive. In the last. Oh, the, I'm talking about. The, I'm sorry. You're right, Daniel. You're right. I'm talking about the last. Yeah. Yeah, like four minute drive. Put right. it that way. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> You're correct. Um, yeah. I mean, look. You know, I got to do a better job there. Obviously, hindsight's twenty twenty. Um, you know, you, you, there's a lot of decisions being made when you get in that situation, D-led. You know, in four minute, how you want to approach it. You know, whether you package plays or, you know, you have call and run it's or you certainly there's, you know, every scheme's up and it's up for debate. Um, but, again, you know, we were running a package play. We got a certain look. We went to it. And uh, we didn't execute very well, and so we lost three yards. And then you get to the second down, and you can make a calculated risk right there. So if I had to do it all over again, I'd certainly probably call something different. And, uh, and then I called the screen on third down. Um, they made the, you know, they made the play. We didn't. Uh, but obviously, I look, you know, whether we win or lose, I looked object, I look objectively at every, every drive and every situation. So, and then you look at the last drive. At the, at the end of the day, and I, was, I will say this: it's not the way it wanted to, but I will say this: at the end of the half, you still got a second left, and you got a shot to go win the game. So that would probably say a lot more about us than anything. But we can execute that play a lot better as well. I, that wasn't, that wasn't executed really well. Uh, that's what I lose sleep over at night. That starts with me. Go, sticking with the rookie a little bit, at what point do you start looking maybe at taking carries away from Mike Davis or looking at Wayne or looking at other options? Down the hill. I think Mike's done a pretty good job. It, it takes all 11, Michael. I think when you just look at uh, yards per carry, that's false. It takes 11. Uh, the way we do things here, it takes everybody getting into the right looks. Everybody's got to do their job. So. I, again, I know those are the, when you look at the numbers are just on the surface. That's a low hanging fruit, but we're four weeks into this. We got a long way to go. We need to get this run game going, but it takes everybody. Well, how do you feel like you do? Get, I mean, besides all eleven, like how do you actually ignite the run game and get it going to where you feel like it needs well, to be? Well, you look at it. I thought go back to Philly for a quarter. I believe we had eighty something yards in the first quarter running it. Obviously, we know how that game ended. We we didn't do a good enough job. We stalled out. Getting to Tampa. Uh, you know, in hindsight, there were some things I probably should have come back to. Um, we know the stout inside, so the game plan in the way that the game evolved took us some different route. Uh, you know, you go down to New York, uh, you know, I didn't think we had enough long and sustainable drives. You didn't have a number of carries. And then yesterday, you know, we pretty much had 26 called runs. I know there was a couple more than what the final tally was, but give or take. Um, again, I could sit here and say you're close and making excuses, but. I, we'll get this thing going. I'm, I'm confident in that. What, do, what does Michael Walker need to do to get on the field more consistently? Or is it's you know it's like all those guys. I mean, they're, they're, if you want to, you got to earn the right to play. It starts in practice, and then when you get your opportunities. I mean, a lot of stuff on special teams can carry over defense, and so like a lot of our guys, I mean, they got to earn the right. We got to you know the trust of the staff and their teammates. So he's got to continue to work. Um, and you know, like I said, if he start to make plays in, in special teams and improves in practice, he'll get more reps. And just from an injury standpoint, Oliver, Harris, Cam. Yeah, there's nothing final on those. Um, so, like I said, they met with the doctors today. Again, we'll, we'll have those updates by Wednesday. Any concern that any of them are significant at this point? Again, I'll just let the – until I hear from the doctors, uh, I, I don't get concerned until I hear from the doctors. Uh, the, the, uh, the, there was a play that was looked at um, by the by the uh, replay booth. It, it was when I think Terry caught the ball and it was considered an incomplete pass. And to uh, the fumble. Yeah, yeah. Now that you've seen that one, 
it seemed like it came at a at a pivotal time. Any thoughts on that? Ah, it, it, it's probably about the same as the one they they called incomplete on Rid. You know, uh, bang bang. I mean, they called it right. They called it incomplete. So that's what it was. What's your philosophy on you know trying to make sure that this doesn't linger? I mean, I know some people use something like this as motivation. Others like to wash it. Where do you kind of stand on that? Yeah, I mean, like I said, win or lose, you got to be objective. If you're not, if you're not improving. You, you, the win can linger too, and it could be as, as toxic as, as losing. So you've got to come in an objective. You know there's a new challenge. The Jets will be ready to roll. Uh, we got to adapt to every circumstance thrown at us. We know it's a little bit of a different week, clearly. Traveling to London, how we adjust to that schedule, how we adjust to the travel, and prepare to go play that game Sunday. So kicks off at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. So we got to get used to that. So there's a lot of things that go into the planning, and we got to handle that. And so it's an opportunity for us. It's a, it's a big game for us. Uh, I'm excited about that challenge. How did you evaluate Calvin Ridley's performance? I mean, I feel like from my perspective, it's like those are balls that he normally catches. And, and there are opportunities that would have been a big swing. I mean, from your perspective, how did you feel like his overall performance was yesterday? Uh, up and down. You know, we, we expect more. And Calvin knows that. I'm not telling you anything I don't tell the players. So we expect him to, to you know, he, he's our, one of our top guys, right? He's one of our captains, and he's, nobody's got higher expectations than he does for himself, and we do. And that's why I call his number. I believe in Calvin, but like all of us, we can all play better. When you are evaluating a game like yesterday, kind of where do you start in your process? Do you go kind of straight to that fourth quarter and break down that, or do you kind of take it from the start to finish? I take it from start to finish in all three phases, and then you go back and rewatch it. Um, you know, in phases, and then you meet with the staff, and same thing. How many times do you watch it? How many times do you go through it, right? Uh, usually, I'll, I'll, I'll bust through it Sunday night because uh, you want to see, you know, what what happened. Make sure you're not emotionally overreacting to things that you may may not misremember. Um, and then usually watch it again the full sequence in the morning, and then watch it one more time with the staff, and then you meet. At some point, you know, I go back. If there's something else that, that's lingering to me, I mean, watch, you know, peek through it again. Self scout, same stuff. So, at least three or four times by the end of Monday night. In terms of in terms of dealing with with the week that's coming up, does that mean you know early mornings all week just to try to get the guys acclimated, or what's? Yeah, we've adjusted our schedule. Yeah. Uh, so all of us got to, you have to. So both teams are flying through the night Thursday night. That's been coming pretty uh, pretty standard. I don't think many teams are doing the week-long bowl game anymore for this trip. So, you know, we both both teams have to handle it the same way. Are you expecting to get uh, Marlon, Sheffield, or Andrews back? We just have to see how the week goes. Sam Cage? Yeah, same with Russell. Do y'all got a review? Because I started working on the Jets a little bit, and he's running around and – Doing Brett Favre, you know, go this way. And You're already calling him Brett Favre. Well, he used to do that, well, to do that all the time. Just send guys deep. Yeah. And, uh, uh, this cat uh, did one of those yesterday against Tennessee. Mm -hmm. uh, it looked like plaster rooms were an issue yesterday. Do y'all gotta kind of go review that with them? Sure. Yeah. I mean, I, we we gotta keep we gotta keep these um, quarterbacks contained, and and you gotta give Washington credit. We knew going in, and he, you know he did a good job. Extended plays, and we, we got to be better in our rush lanes and it, just defensively, uh, not trying to do anything extra. You know, that's what it comes down to. And it sounds like a broken record, but it, he made plays, and you got to give uh, give him credit. And they came up with him. You know, he threw a couple up there. Uh, they came down, and we we didn't we didn't make the plays that were. You know, as I said, we had a, we had multiple chances to end that game, really in both phases. We had a chance to. Um, that's when you hit me on that one. Where my mom was at D-Led, we had a chance to rip a run. Mm -hmm. And we didn't finish on the backside. And, you know, uh, Wayne made the free safety miss. And, you know, it's a first down. But, again, we we, we got to get better. And that's some of the stuff in the run game. Like, we got to finish games out. It doesn't have to be all run, but that's just one example. So, you know, when I look at that, that's the second to last drive when we had a lead. In the last drive, we had a lead in four minutes. And then, again, we'll, we'll I'll objectively look at it. With the approach, I won't continue to do the same thing over and over and expect different results. I won't do that here. 
Uh, that's insane. So you know, it's all fair. And if you can look at it, say, hey, was, and I, I do this all the time. Was I too conservative here? Do this again. How do you want to package things? It all goes in there, and it's all fair, And when, especially when you lose a game like that. And then the last drive, you know, that's situational football. So, yes, it is an offensive drive, but we look at it, you know, that's a different situation. We know it now to go um, – to go from having a lead in a four-minute situation to now having to go win the game. And you got to have that belief. And so the one thing you will say is these games come down and we had the ball in our hands with a chance to go win it. We crossed midfield, thought we handled that well. Uh, personally, I didn't like the operation there at the end. I thought that that was a uh, cluster, you know, what was going on, the spotting, the guy, you know, hold, you know, holding on the mat. That could have been even uglier. Thank God there was a second left. So, and then you look at that and how you want to package things. Like I told you, our execution wasn't good enough at the end. And that bothers me and that starts with me. Did you, you bring that to the league's attention? What happened well, in the last play? Yeah, we'll bring it up. We'll bring it up. And, and those guys have a hard job. There's just a lot going on right there. Um, that's not making an excuse. Uh, we had plenty of, like I said, you got to give Washington credit. They found a way to win that game. We didn't, we didn't find a way to end it. And we have multiple chances, uh, you know, and really in all three phases. Uh, but it all goes into play. You know, I just – when you – there's two ways to look at it. So, if you go in there, everybody in the league, you know, turns in. You're going to talk to somebody up in New York. they got different processes. And so, we, you know, you talk to them. But when you get in those one-possession games and you, you sit there, I, all I want to know is why. You know, it's just something that, okay, is this how you're going to call it? How do I coach this better? That's kind of how I look at it. You don't look at, hey, excuses and blame the, the officials. Those guys have a hard job to do. I just want to educate myself. Like, is there something else I need to coach differently here? Is this the way it's called? Is this how you, you can do this this way or whatever it is? To me, it's a continuing education. That's how I look at it. And I asked about TJ Green a little bit yesterday. But what's the philosophy by putting a guy in maybe that hasn't played really all Sometimes day? Sometimes it's as simple as, as this, Michael. You get something that maybe happened equipment-wise or medically. Again, there's a lot usually more to it. So I can leave it at that. You, know, you said you kind of hinted at packages. Sure. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's why I was saying so there's, there's, multiple, there's multiple reasons when you ask it. Certain packages we have, yeah, that dictates who goes in there. There's certain things situationally maybe that happens. A guy gets something, like I said, it could be as simple as equipment, getting something checked out. The game's not going to stop, so the next guy's got to go in there. they got to be ready to go. How do you coach those extended rushes when, when you know, they, they come, they make their initial move, then the guy's scrambling around? How do, what are the, the Yeah, rushes? I mean, you what hit it I mean, in the back end the way you plaster. Uh, you want to keep rush integrity. And, you know, if you, you don't get in different ways, guys, if you run, you know, past the depth of the quarterback and you open up and then you got two guys, if you're running a game, you got to be coordinated so you don't have two guys in the same gap and it can't open like the Red Sea. Right. And you give a guy a lane. And so – Again, we got to continue to improve there. Uh, give them credit. He made the plays. We got to do a better job executing. And I don't want to ever say that to him. I'm up here making an excuse. We know what we got to do to get better, and you also got to give Washington credit. What was your, what was your evaluation of Zach Wilson coming in, like, you know, six months ago? Yeah. Good player. Yeah. Live arm. Uh, you can see it. Uh, it was a challenge. Like I said, D Led's already anointed him. Uh, you know, gave his comparison. I'm not going to repeat it, so they can't put those words in my mouth. Uh, but the, that's another guy. I mean, he, he's he's a talented thrower, and he, and he can make all the throws and, and get out. You know, off. You, know, you can use the quarterback guru wor words it is, but at the end of the day, he extends plays and can make every throw on the field. That's what I saw. They got seven sacks, so I guess Quinn is their big guy up front. But. Uh... I don't know if they've been rushing the pressure like that all, all year, but they were. They were yeah, it's going to be aggressive. You know, you know their approach up there. Right. They're going to have their, their ears pent back, and they're going to they're going to be ready to rock and roll. Uh, we got to make sure we're ready to go too. Anything else? Appreciate you guys. Thank all you. Right, thanks, thanks, coach. Appreciate it.